Elson, as always, thank you very much for your time. On Saturday, you start off in the first race with a half-brother to Buffalo Bill Cody and Sylvan Theatre in race number one. We, yes, he's running. He's got a very good draw. He's drawn for the 1200 inside track. Um, I'm expecting a big improvement this time. And Sylvan Theatre, drawn three on the inside track. Uh, she ran a good race last time. Uh, give him each way a chance. So both horses could be in the quartet? Yes. Union Square, he comes with a big reputation, a beautiful looking horse, comes back from KwaZulu Natal. What is Team De Kock expecting on Saturday? Union Square, um, he's doing well at home. Um, but my opinion, I think when I need a run, is uh, you never see the cross gallop from the, coming from the layoff. First leg of the pick six, what are we expecting from Liliana? Liliana, she's small feet, drone five. She's doing well at home. Um, got a good jockey on top. Um, I think uh, I give me also each way chance. Um, I'll be disappointed if it's not run to the money. Ultra Magnus is one of my favorite horses. He hasn't really shown the ability that he had earlier on in his career. He's not getting younger. But I still think there's a good race in him. We're trying over 1800. Um, we give him a claim for, I think, an alphabet. Um, he's still showing that uh, he's showing that he's he, he going to enjoy the trip because he's not showing to us. He's not showing like a sprinter. He's showing like the long distance horse. Then we go on to a horse that won its last start. Um, clearly, was fancied Pinky Levine. Pinky Levine actually is quite improved uh, um, for the last run. She's got a good draw, drawn three. Um, I'm also expecting a good run from her. Then on to Forever Mine, who won his penultimate start. His last start, things didn't really go according to plan. It was a strong field. What are you expecting with uh, Forever Mine and Motown Magic in the same race? Forever Mine, I've started Forever Mine. Forever Mine has got a, a very bad draw, you know. Um, inside track, if you had a bad draw, he's in trouble. So, he's a horse like to race in the Andy. He's not a horse that come off him, but I'll see how she go. But uh, he actually, he's doing well at home. I'm um, not complaining the way she work at home. So, we need a luck in running now. What about Motown Magic? Motown Magic is also is, is a nice horse, but uh, he's doing well at home. Drawn one. Actually, he's a very good draw, but uh, I think I need a run. Okay, and then in the eighth of the afternoon, you've got Run As One. Run As One is um, he's working well at home, but he just lost a bit of form, you know. But uh, I think uh, we're expecting an improvement this time. And then finally, to put the lid on the day, Destiny of Souls. Destiny of Souls. Um, it's quite disappointing last time, and the jockey come back. He says. Uh, he needed a bit of tongue tie, he's putting tongue over the bed, so we're trying the tongue tie. The work has been good at home, so I'm expecting the each way chance. So if you had to be pressed for an answer, what would you think would be Team De Kock's best chance of a winner on Saturday? Liliana. 